Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to teach you about if you have multiple entities and you are borrowing and lending money and transferring money between all of them, how do you handle that in QuickBooks? It's a common question I've been getting asked lately where companies have multiple entity structures and they're transferring money from one to the other depending on where has the cash flow at the moment. I will give you a disclaimer is I am not a CPA, I'm an entrepreneur. I've mentioned that before in my videos. I always recommend checking with your CPA or your attorney and making sure that all the things that you are doing are legitimate transfers between your companies and ask if you need documentation ahead of time, agreements, all that kind of stuff done. And if this is how your CPA wants it taken care of, but I'll teach you what we call a workaround within QuickBooks. So right now I have two QuickBooks data files open. One of the companies that we're going to use today as a sample file is Confidence with QuickBooks, which is the one I typically use with you guys. And the other one is going to be Larry's. You'll notice I made it purple to kind of differentiate between the two for you. Larry's Landscape and Gardening. So the first thing you're going to do is inside each company within QuickBooks, you are going to create a bank account. To do that, you're going to go under list, chart of accounts. That's where I'm sitting right now. Go down to the bottom to account, click on new. You're going to select bank account, click continue. The first one you're going to call it inner company. I'll show you it right here. Inner company transactions. It looks like this bank account, inner company transactions. That's the first step. The second step we're going to do is create whatever the entity is called. In this example, it's confidence with QuickBooks. And I'm going to make that a subcategory of inner company transactions. The reason I'm doing that is so that I, one, have the main category as intercompany transactions. I know what that is. That means I'm transferring money between two bank accounts, but I'm not going to totally reconcile and enter every one of confidence with QuickBooks transactions inside Larry's landscaping. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to create a subcategory for each, which is a bank account, for each individual company that you're transferring money from and money too. So inside Larry's, I would not have one for Larry because I already have Larry's checking account down here. But now I'm gonna click on Confidence with QuickBooks inside of here in the chart of accounts. You'll see I have one for Larry. Do you see that? Here, I'll move this down so you see one for each. This is Larry's, this is Confidence with QuickBooks, okay? Just watch, I'll teach you what you do. So what's happening throughout the years, money's getting moved in, money's going back out. It's a constant transactions from one to the other. So instead of creating a notes payable and a notes receivable and entering each transaction and trying to adjust it, we're gonna use a bank account basically as a clearing account. It's gonna track all the ins and all the outs. And then at the end of the year, you're gonna do an adjustment to zero it out. And it's either gonna go on the balance sheet as a payable, so if, confidence with QuickBooks had lent Larry more money than Larry could pay back, it would become an asset, another asset in their books. And Larry would have a liability showing he owed confidence with QuickBooks at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, you're going to go, you're going to figure out where it's at. And then if you want a video on that, let me know. And I'll create a specific video on how to do that side of it. But for today, I'm only going to teach you how to move the money in and out where you would track it on each books. So we're going to go in first here to confidence with QuickBooks and we're going to say that confidence with QuickBooks wrote Larry money. Okay. It's a kind of a complicated topic. So sorry if I'm confusing you, but just trust, do one, do the first step. First step, go into each company, create an intercompany transaction, or some people call them intracompany. It depends which way your entities are set up. You create that and then you're going to create a bank account for each individual company that you're either lending or borrowing money for inside of the company you're in inside of QuickBooks. So how many companies is Confidence of QuickBooks either lending money to or borrowing money from? And you put that there. Okay, that's the first thing. And this really is if you're not necessarily paying interest at the time you borrow the money. This is just transferring money back and forth between entities. No interest is being paid at the time, okay? Just keep it super simple. So we're gonna go into Confidence with QuickBooks checking account. We've already created the accounts. So if you're transferring the money directly online, the easiest way is to go under Banking, Transfer Funds, pick the date, say which 
account it came from is going to be from Confidence with QuickBooks. If you're transferring money into Larry, you would then pick Larry and put the dollar amount. Let's say it's $2,000. What this is saying is Confidence with QuickBooks in this bank account, because we're in their company file in QuickBooks, from this checking account, we lent money to this particular bank account, okay? And then we click save and close. That's the easiest way to do it. And I highly recommend you could put a memo in if you want. I'm not gonna worry about classes at this example. Then I would go into Larry and you could do a tr transfer into Larry, which is basically making a deposit. So it's coming from Confidence with QuickBooks to Larry's checking account. And we're gonna do it for the same date. Now the problem is because this is a sample file, it's not gonna like that date. Oh, I need to put the dollar amount in. $2,000 and you hit save and close. It doesn't like it because it's a sample file, so it's in, in the future, so I'm gonna click yes. And so now what you'll see is there's $2,000 that Larry borrowed from Confidence with QuickBooks, that's where it came from, and inside Confidence with QuickBooks, if you look at the chart of accounts, you lent Larry $2,000 and it came out of your account. So you would do that throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, you would do one transaction. If you need me to create a tip and trick on that, let me know. I will create an additional video and then I will put it. If I get enough requests, I'll put the information at the bottom of this video so that you can find that video as well. If you enjoyed this tip, please don't forget to subscribe and share it if you know somebody who needs it. And as always, if you're needing help and specializing with QuickBooks at one-on-one, -on -one, I have a link down below where you can book an appointment with me. I have webinars coming up that I teach all this fun stuff on live where you can ask me questions live. If you're interested in the webinars I have coming up, don't forget to look for that link in the description down below. Have an amazing day. Thank you for being here. I hope this helped you. Take care. Bye-bye.